Hello, today I'm going to be going over the patient portal within Crystal Practice Management. The patient portal is a secure platform so that patients can access their medical records, their prescriptions, patient education material, they can send and receive messages to and from your office, they can pay their bill, fill out online forms. There's a lot of uses for the patient portal. So the first thing that you'll need to know is what your patient portal URL is. And that is going to be specific for each office. So to get your specific URL, you can come into admin and then website. And it's going to be the URL right here, which is located under system online documents. If you click on this URL, it's going to bring you to the login screen that the patient will see. So that way uh, they can log into their secure portal. So that brings us to our second point, which is how to generate a username and a password for the patient. There is a couple different ways that you can do it. The first and the most popular way is going to be going to the patient module. And within here you have files and you've got an online portal add remove files button. So when you initially come in here, if there's no username and password assigned, it's going to be blank. You can either type in the preferred username and password that the patient gives you, or you can click on the default button. And either way that you do this, um, if, they, if they do give you username and password, or if your office is putting in your own custom, just make sure that it is specific to that patient. Otherwise, you could get into a HIPAA violation. So. There's that. The second way is that in the record section, you can actually go to the ARRA tab, which if you're familiar with any of the government reporting, then you're familiar with the ARRA tab. So within here, you have a button to upload medical record. And when you click upload medical record, if there's no username and password assigned, then the system will direct you to grant that access. As far as giving the patient the username and password, there's many different ways that you can do it. You can, if the patient you know, gives you their username and password, then obviously they would know it there. Uh, you can verbally give it to the patient. You can write it down. You can email the patient their username and password as well. And that does require you to set up your Gmail account within Crystal. There is a PDF, which I'm going to include a link for at the in the description that goes over how to set up the email. But essentially, in the patient section, and again, under the files and then online portal, there is an email portal access button. This also does appear in the billing section, so that will email the patient the URL, their username, and their password. You can also have the portal information print out at the bottom of the invoice, and that is done under admin and then invoices. There's a box you can check to include the information on how to access the portal, and what will be included is anything in this portal info invoice footer. So you can customize this if you want, Make sure that your URL is correct here. Um, this number at the end needs to match what you have in Help and About. That's your specific office's number. So just make sure that those numbers match. If they don't, you can just overwrite it and change it there as needed. Okay, so there's that. And um, if the patient does not have a email or if they do not have a username and a password assigned when you print the invoice there will be a pop-up window that reminds you that the footer information is being removed because the patient doesn't have a username and password assigned there's no reason to include it so you can either go ahead and continue printing the invoice without that information or at that time you can go back and generate a username and a password for them we also have a lot of offices that will have a button on their website that says patient portal. And so that way they can tell their patients, just go to our website and click the patient portal button 
and that's a really easy way for them to access it as well. That is something that you would need to do on your end if you built your own website or if you had a graphic designer or web professional build it for you, you would want to give them the URL that we pulled up earlier from admin website. Okay, now when the patient logs into their portal, they're not actually going to see anything initially. You will have to upload documents for them and we'll go over that in just a moment. Let's go ahead and log into the portal and see what the patient would see after they log in. So I'm going to log into my test account here and I'm actually going to change this number so that way we can see all of the options that are possible on the portal. to resize my window real quick. All right, actually, one sec. Okay, there we go. So, this is what the patient will see when they log in. It's um, pretty basic. You just have your navigation window off to the left-hand side. So if the patient has corresponded with you via the message system on here, they will see a history of those messages between themselves and your office. This is covered in more detail in the PDF in the description, so you can definitely check that out. There's also a video that goes over the patient attaching files and everything that entails. Okay, there's also a record section. Now, anything that you have uploaded for the patient is going to appear here. Remember, um, initially it is going to be blank, but you can upload their prescriptions, you can upload patient edu education material. Um, pretty much anything that you want the patient to have access to so that way they can either download the file and save it or they can print it off whatever they really want to do with it they can okay the log is just when the patient has logged in they can access that log and a couple optional things that you can have on your patient portal the first one is going to be the online forms so if you have your patients fill out their demographic insurance and medical history before their visit, they can log into the portal and fill out their form right here. Okay, and if you have schedule your exam enabled, then the patient can schedule an appointment online. If you have WorldPay enabled, the patient can pay their bill online. If you would like information on either one of the forums, the schedule, your exam, or WorldPay, there are links included in the PDF, and you can also go up to support and then request support at the top of Crystal, and we'll have the appropriate person reach out to you regarding those. Their account section will allow them to update their username and their password. The other option they would have is to give your office a call and they can also log out of the portal here. Okay, so that's a rundown of what the patient sees. Now, if you don't have online forums, schedule your exam or pay bills or, or world pay, uh, these three are not going to show up at all, okay? All right, and then in order to upload documents for the patient, so we already went over pretty much how to upload the record from the ARRA tab. So that is just with that button. What it is going to upload is the PDF version of the template. You don't really have a whole lot of control over how that looks. If you do have a custom letter or a Word template that you use to print out your exams, you can definitely upload that as well if you like the look of that a little bit better. And to do that, you would want to have the Crystal PDF printer installed. You're going to want to install that on each workstation if you don't have it. That's going to be under File, Print Options, and then Crystal PM PDF Printer. So go ahead and click that, 
and then sometimes you do actually need to come in and do that again the first time it grants the access and then the second time it will actually install the printer so you may need to do that twice just as a heads up and then you'll also want to make sure that you have print preview and then select printer every time installed and that way if you're doing the letters you'll get a quick preview of it and then you can choose the printer it goes to so if we do a word template I'm going to go ahead and send that to my exam summary too it's not going to have a whole lot on it but we can still demo it just to see the process here and the nice thing about the crystal PDF printer is that it, you can use it for anything uh, not just for the portal but like if you do insurance authorizations you can save that into the patient's chart or upload it to their portal so that definitely has a lot of uses there is more information on that we have a video on our YouTube page which is under crystal PM that's on YouTube and then you can just search for a PDF printer that'll give you a nice rundown of everything that entails installing usage all of that okay so we have our word template is generated here I obviously don't have anything filled out so it's empty but you get the idea there and in order to upload this to the portal what we're going to do is file and then print and then instead of choosing our printer we're actually going to choose the crystal PM printer and we'll click print okay and now we get the save window within crystal and we can name it whatever we want if it is for an exam you may want to put the date of service that's involved with it okay and then we have two buttons down here we have add file and upload which is adding this as a PDF and saving it into the files section and then it's also uploading it to the portal the other option you have is just to add it to the files uh, for this we obviously want to go ahead and um, clicked a button we also we actually want to do add file and upload so it uploads it to the portal and then we can click save there and it takes just a moment and then that file is now available for the patient to access when they log into their portal okay so there's that we can go ahead and close out of those windows the letter works pretty much in the same way so once we have a letter generated I'll go ahead and choose a basic school letter show the values okay so we would click print and then we have our printer options we'll choose the crystal PM printer once you have your preview and everything like looks okay just go ahead and click print and then again we have our save options and we can upload that to the portal okay so that's good to go another very very common thing that offices want to upload to the portal is the prescription okay so if we have a spectacle or glasses RX let me just plug in a couple quick numbers here there we go okay so when you go to print the prescription there is actually a button right here that says upload portal and you click that and it's as easy as that um, that is going to be uploaded to the portal okay there's your confirmation this works the same way in the patient if you have your office staff and they want to do a quick upload of the prescription and I'll show you that real quick as well we can print prescriptions choose the spectacle and then here's the upload button for the office staff as well okay so that is super easy uh, if we do have an existing document that we want to upload all you have to do is right click on the document and then upload file to online documents it's the same way in the records if you press the little files button you can upload it from there as well another thing that you may want to upload is if you have general PDFs that go over um, you know contact lens information or conjunctivitis you can upload PDFs to the system and then you can upload that 
is necessary that is included in the PDF, how to, um, how to assign those and then how to upload those. And then um, the last thing is going to be the messages. So in the message, if the patient just types something here, and they send it, that is going to come into your office into the tasks section. And there is a button in here where you can check for web messages. Okay, so the messages are going to come up here and then um, you can go ahead and reply to the patient within the files, or the patient and then files and then their online portal. And yeah, uh, for more detailed information, as I said before, go ahead and uh, see that PDF that's, um, that goes over everything that you would need to know about the portal. If you do have any questions, please let us know. Thank you.